I usually say that first week is, is the, the most difficult because there's a splint on the outside. They can usually see some bruising around the eyes. They tend to feel quite snuffly, like they've got a, a cold. Surprisingly, it's not that painful. It's more like, as I say, feeling like they've got a cold or snuffly or a blocked nose. When the splint comes off, usually around five to six days, um, Again, there's a lot of swelling at the tip, which can be quite hard to take, and so I wouldn't be advising anything important socially for those first two weeks after the rhinoplasty. But actually, by two weeks after the rhinoplasty, you could walk down the street and people probably wouldn't even realise you'd had anything done. The bruising will have gone, the worst of the swelling will have gone, and you're back to your kind of normal outward self. By six weeks, you'll be back to all your normal activities. Actually, I want people in the gym from two weeks if they want, not necessarily lifting weights, but they could certainly be on a bicycle and exercise. A lot of people will say it takes up to a year to see the final outcome from a rhinoplasty. That is true. If you're talking about the final stable outcome, all the swelling gone, no further movement, scars mature, it probably is a year. 